Dun, 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 dun. Welcome you guys to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Patricia Warren and I'm back again with a part two of how to plan your dream wedding. Yeah, you guys are giving me joy. The last video I did, the part one, checking my analytics, it's, it's actually doing well compared to other videos. It means my content is getting to the choice viewer. This year, this year, you must plan your wedding. Oh! I'm so excited because when we say marriage 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 is not everything but you all you cannot do life alone it's not good to do life alone that is why marriage it comes to play oh yes we have a um, relationships here and there but being in a committed relationship it rocks right that is why we have marriage you know you have a life life partner to do this thing called life with you you love yourselves and you know you do your you do you so without um wasting of time we're going to be going to the other aspects of this video so last time we touched a bit of um vendors so give your clothes to a tailor during the preparation for my wedding my traditional outfit and reception outfit was ready two weeks two weeks of my wedding the only bone of contention was oh lord let me not add up in the wrong places so that this dress can fit me but my tailor made allowances so that in case of anything she can always adjust right so your clothes has to be ready to, to eliminate what i ordered or what i ordered versus what i got i don't really like to you know, rush my things right i like to prepare ahead of time so it's a very good tip that your clothes should be ready it's one week to your wedding day you understand come closer I hope you guys are writing this thing down. No. If you're wearing English outfits for your pre-wedding picture, good. But in my time, I sold my outfits. I sold my outfits. So it's why you have to go to the market on time and buy this material so that you can give them to the right tailor to replicate what you want for you. Please don't grieve for anybody. Yo. And one thing I noticed about tailors is that they want to impute, they want to, they want to force what they think is trending. They want to force what they think is right on you hello girl it's not free i'm paying for this you have to give me what i want so i had to be insistent even my makeup artist had to commend me yeah that this girl i really love this bride she knows what she wants and she you know i saw a makeup i saw her makeup ad on instagram and i loved it i'm a bini bride in case you don't know so i loved how the makeup and the red outfit complemented and everything so i thought that this is exactly what i want the lipstick oh the everything this exactly thank god the person that was in the ad was fair and i'm a little bit light so you no know? so she replicated that and it came out wow she came out so nice so please insist on them giving you what you want insist on anything you want if it's the exactly the way the style is i want it to be like this you understand don't let them colobi or your deal from you next point we're talking about now is your decor your traditional wedding decor bridal shower decor white wedding decor so if you're planning a wedding on a budget your main focus should be your white wedding traditional wedding maybe for because your your number is going to be really reduced you just want the whole thrill of dressing up and wearing your traditional attire and just a little party for your friends and family members then you can do a little bit of decoration for your traditional wedding you get so what i did in my time was that i used um you know those people that are not so they are good or they are not so top notch or big the big names right around the house you see their decoration and also they are more they do beautiful simple traditional decoration so i used those ones for my decor my trad decor and it came out very well it came out very fine i focused the major money on my white wedding and it came out okay she didn't like i was telling you guys no grief for anybody oh she didn't give me what i wanted and so i gave it to her hot hot because i told her before time she said i'm the best at what i do i'm this i'm that oh yeah time for execution you are giving me what you think you should i should do what is in vogue and i told you exactly what i wanted so don't allow anybody to talk you down it's your money you're paying for it so don't let anybody talk you down or try to put their own idea into you that this is what you should do instead of doing what they what you want them to do do you understand reach out to the decorator out artist on time 
they will ask you for your team color that's why i mentioned team color before they will ask you for your team color they will ask you for you know what you want they will ask you for the things that they need to make that day beautiful for you and you tell them follow up with them make sure you make um paid your down payment to secure your date that was what i did the next thing that you should plan for is your photographer my photographer gave me a hard time but i did not relent i prayed to god and he gave me direction this is just a physical aspect of planning for your wedding the emotional and spiritual aspect is there which is which is even supposed to be number one but i just um assumed everybody should know that they definitely have to pray for that event to be a success right and uh -huh. so this one is the physical one that it's a lot that's why i started with the physical aspect my pre-wedding pictures came out wow i used somebody who was really 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 good i paid quite an amount for pre-wedding because at the time we were supposed to do our pre-wedding shoots right we had not yet finalized the photographer normally anything you're doing it should come in a wedding package so for the photography it's supposed to come with photography videography for both white wedding and trad then complimentary should be either your bridal shower or your court wedding it's three don't let them fool you it could even be more safe mm -hmm. so um we had not yet finalized so we just had to use somebody else who was good but we couldn't afford his wedding package we're not using for um pre-wedding and you know as god would have it the photographer that ended up capturing our moments and everything he, in fact we preferred him to the pre-wedding person you know his package was very affordable was within slightly above our budget but we could you know come around it and he did a very good i, I had him all to myself he was his vibes you know he was just there for me so don't be discouraged though you will find if if the vendors you are seeing are too expensive keep searching you will find the right one so that's how we did it too and everything came out so fine we got so many shots we got complimentary frames calendar i got if i for my pre-wedding i'm a price i'm very big on capturing memories right for my pre-wedding pre all the pictures we took i have unedited copies and so you can also request for that for your photographer if you're still with me say yeah i'm still with you the next vendor that you should plan for ahead of time is your your food the catering aspect of your wedding it's it has normal food if you are doing three course meal this year you will discuss it so we have the small chops aspect the self your caterer can do your small chops your cake artist can do your small chops so we have the tantalizer the appetizer right now we have the appetizer maybe you want small chops and um, gizzard small chops and chicken your caterer can do this or your cake artist can do this right so some caterers would price you per plate some will price you per size guest size so it's why i say if you're planning your wedding by yourself you need people so i and my mom we shopped for the um spices and condiments by ourselves from the market so try and talk to her on time make sure her food is sweet maybe somebody that is somebody that you have eaten her food before you have attended the wedding that she catered to before so you know how the food tastes always i'm big on telling them what you want so that you can hold them responsible or accountable if it doesn't come out the way you expected it to come out right so i told them everything i, I told the my caterer everything i wanted i wanted sweet food and everything and she delivered she delivered tell them they tell them the kind of plates you want them to serve the food with tell them if you know if you're going to provide a space for them in the house for trad just give them all the information that you want to give and all the information that they request from you you also have to give them too the next aspect is the drinks the drinks so you need to buy your drinks i mean drinks did not expire you can get your drinks two months to your wedding because these things like i said the price is up and down it's fluctuating in the market right so your juice your wine you know for the high table and or you can also take the services of all those people who serve drinks see how it comes it's a package it, it gives your event a top sh a top notch look right so having those people handle your drinks is just professional they will you know serve your drinks the way you instruct them to they come it comes with a chest a cold chest that can contain all your drinks and juices and ice it comes with the bowl where they put the drinks and all if you want somebody to maybe do your the cocktail segment or palm wine segment people do it these days just reach out to them on time so that everything can be coordinated right
and next thing would be your mc rush mco especially if your mc is good you need to reach out on time and tell them what you want right normally these days some mc want to be charging per event you need to look for all your vendors charge them per the days you need them for the two days minimum your trad and your white wedding minimum price them like that don't price one 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 will be more expensive so look for the mc you want from instagram word of mouth friends and you can just you know from there you can price them and tell them what you want you want games you want to have father and daughters dance it just helps them tell them to send the, send you the program before time so that you can you know if you're to find out if you're okay with it if it's if you're good to go or you want him to adjust or remove something or add something the next video you have to look out for is your dj is your dj if you're the kind of person who don't want a particular kind of music to play in your wedding you have to tell them before time if you have a playlist which i would have done my intro dance the song was not sung in at first though i had to encourage myself i had to use eyes to talk to somebody please tell the dj to play something very very danceable so you need to be strict on what you want right you need to be strict on what you want so tell them the kind of songs that you don't want them to play Tell them the kind of songs you want them to play. If you're a Christian, if you're big on Christian music or true, this is the time to tell them about that. Then we have your invitation. Don't spend money on hard copy. If you have 300 guests, you now want to print 300 hard copies of invitations. Why now? In a digital age like this, no, my dear. But the person who is doing your daughter can do your wedding invitation. Always be in communication with them what you want on your wedding card what you don't want on your wedding card you get so that's it print like 50 hard copies share 20 or 15 15 for both families your many ones yourself and your husband people will share it for your friends the every other one can be digital except you want to really yes every other one can be digital except you're being on strictly by imitation and then you cannot do the hard copy many the person who does your jota should be able to do this you should do your invitation hard copy invitation remember i said that 50 maximum you don't need a lot of hard copies these days you're gonna the hard copy one will be beautiful and to be for some selected few what while every other person gets the online invitation right they are the ones out if you are if you're also going for your menu card like the food menu for your reception your white wedding reception they are the ones who also design something like that for you then your program if you're doing a church wedding trust me they're going to demand or they're going to request for program so it is this your person who's printing the person in charge of printing jobs is the one who's supposed to print your program it has other of uh, photography it has the recessional hymn and processional hymn if that's correct <laughs> it also has the agenda of like the wedding program how the wedding agenda for the day is going to be your mc would also need that in the reception so it's really important to do that depending on the number of your guest size you know how many you print voila that's it next tip will be souvenir when you go to the market you, you can shop for your souvenir at the same time you're shopping for your clothes and accessories but if you don't have time you can now shop for your souvenir on another day for your souvenir general souvenir should be it doesn't have to be top notch you are preparing for everybody knows that that period they're going to spend a lot Although family members always would help your parents, parents of the groom, they want to support, siblings of the groom want to support. That doesn't mean you should use all your money to plan for your wedding. So you need to, like I said, the first, one of the top five things to plan for is a budget. Work with your budget. See souvenirs that fit into that. A lot of people share Taurus, Jota. If a Jota is number one souvenir, if, if at all nothing reaches you, the Jota will, will reach you. We have different sizes. This is how my own came out. This is a big size. We have smaller sizes too. And it's for different prices. You, If you're going for hard back, it's a different price. If you're going for soft back, it's a different um, it's a different um, price. So you need to know what will work with, what will work for you. This is a bonus tip now. General, 
I'm giving you souvenir ideas. So for the general souvenir, your jota number one, for your high table, you can just, you know, buy fancy bags. Buy fancy bags. It's not expensive in the market. They sell per dozen, which is 12 12 So special people that you want to give gifts to, your jota, towel, if you can buy stainless coolers or stainless bottle, you know, just handy, handy things. Mug sets. I'm giving you ideas now. Don't say I did not tell you. Are you writing this? Are you writing this down? Mug, towel, um, um, uh, bottle like water bottle, fancy bottle, your jota. What else again? That's with wine. Is that not good? To, that's good enough. You're not, not senator's daughter. So you need to, you know, work according to your budget. Work according to your budget. So th those are hand. Just look for something that you know that they will appreciate. Lagos weddings, they share bread. They share tin tomatoes. Food is not expensive. Food is expensive in the country now. People will appreciate this. Taking out time to come and celebrate with you and they leave your event with bread. They leave your event with things that even crate of egg, even washing hand soap. They will use these are things that they use in the house. You can look for household items that you think everybody uses in the house and share as a souvenir. I shared hand keys, I shared key holders, I shared um um spoon, this spoon for cupping rice, spoon for you know dishing some more and air, but that makes it look presentable. Everyone needs that in their kitchen. If you give it to a man, we give it to his wife. If you give it to a single man, we give it to his sister or his girlfriend. So it is it is relatable. People can use these things. What at home? I shared baskets. I shared basket, waste bin basket. That is something relatable. My mother-in-law shared buckets. My mother-in-law shared um, um bowls. Bowl stroke sieve. There was one video I did before that I used. It's a very, it's a very good option for sieving rice. Yes, so plenty, plenty of options like that. Umbrella has that with that. Then for your ashray, depending on how much you you sold your material for, and how you just you know bother your friends. I will put a picture of how my what my souvenir looked like. I did a tote bag. Should I say this? Should I not say this? So my ashray paid twenty thousand naira for the ashray package. For the guys, the guys paid. 35 i think yeah 35 000 era. so we have to rally put the cost of the material and the gifts that we will get them inside it my should be an agbana man no, let me tell you what my should be my should be got got a tote bag we did a tote bag we did jota and we ensured that there was jota in there i bought this pocket I, I also shared pockets um perfumes i bought this pocket perfumes like two months to my wedding i just bought it plenty before the price will increase when it was still 500 500 per bottle you understand now i don't think that in this family now even if it's wholesale you can't find the 500 again so that's why i said buy your things on time so we shared a uh, pocket perfume i shared hand fan that hand fan in part one video i know every lady would like a slip on Slippers. Why I even thought it was going to be a, a good idea for my ladies was because that period, because I was working around, I was not craving soft footwear. Soft footwear where I, that is hard enough for me to walk around with in the house. And it's very cute. So I thought, why not just share this for my girls? And I did that. And they really, really, really appreciated it. So for the guys, they got the same thing. In place of the fan and the slipper, slippers, they got, they got a coffee mug and a phone holder. Yeah, that, that was just the difference. That was just the difference. The coffee mug was quite expensive, even if we bought, even though we bought at wholesale, but you know, it came out really, really, really helpful. Two vendors that you have to plan for before time. It is it is optional, but it is important that you have them. You will need security personnel for your wedding. You don't want it overcrowded, you don't want people who are just walking by the wayside to enter your event center you need to have security in forms of eg bouncer maybe three four two will stay mount you, the couple stand the other two are the entrance she can uh, that's all then for ushers it to beautify your event they are it's a they have affordable ones and they have expensive ones you know the one in your pocket will fall under i had five i think i had five girls uh, they wear beautiful classy outfits usher your high table guests in if i usher all your invitees in it just adds a little bit of color to your events and they help around they help to ensure people are well seated they help to ensure that things are get to every table so it's a plus these are the um 
these are the vendors we're done talking about the vendors like and comment your thoughts let's interact in the comment section let's engage with this video part one did well it's my it's my hope and desire that part two does even better thank you so much i'll come to the end of the video au revoir bye